Hey Pisces, how's it going? Welcome to your universal message for mid-January. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, welcome in. If you're returning, thank you so much. I am truly appreciative of all your support and comments. Please know that if you comment, I will respond as I respond to all my comments because I greatly appreciate the time you all take out in order to do uh, to comment. So just know from the bottom of my heart, I am truly appreciative of all of you. Also, if this resonates, please like, consider subscribing and comment. I would greatly appreciate it. So please remember that this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? So what I'm gonna do is pull three souls journey cards their lesson cards so maybe this is something you need to work on or you're in the process or you have been working on again take it as it resonates okay spirit please give me guidance for pisces what do they need to know spirit for their highest good for their soul's journey what is it that they need to know for their highest good what is it that they need to know for their highest good two more shuffles okay so the first one is fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love service i feel good when i can help others Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm still waiting for a light to come in, and it's driving me crazy, so I'm just going to apologize in advance for it. Okay. Okay. So some of you may, I do feel like some of you do have fear at the moment, like the what ifs, patience has been a struggle, and maybe, you know, maybe you feel like you can't even help yourselves, how are you going to help others at this time is for some of you, the, the feelings that I'm getting with this energy. Okay, so let's let's get started and see what's going on for you guys. So I'm going to pull three cards for personal and spiritual growth, three cards for love, three cards for career and finances. I will tell you based on prior comments, some, sometimes it's just one big storyline. So again, take it as it resonates. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, please give me guidance. For Pisces, what do they need to know for their highest good spirit for personal and spiritual growth? What is it that they need to know for their highest good for personal and spiritual growth? All right, so we have three cards. So the first card is the Seven of Wands. The second card is the Five of cups and the third card is the page of swords so you know a lot of you are feeling defensive not knowing what to do with the page of swords here i just feel like there's an issue with some type of communication here it's like more of being observing versus communicating is what i'm getting but let's go ahead and keep going, okay? I will pull four cards for advice at the end as well. Spirit, please give me guidance for Pisces in love. Please give me guidance for Pisces in love. What do they need to know, Spirit, for their highest good? What does Pisces need to know in love for mid-January for their highest good, please? So you have the Four of Cups, the Empress, King of Cups in reverse, 
So, you know, some of you are certainly not emotionally balanced at this time. It's like you're trying to take control, but you're in sitting in a state of just not, not knowing what to do. It's like you're more focused on these three cups, and it's very significant for me. Although this is the four of cups, this is the five of cups, there's three cups down here, there's three cups here. Okay, and it's like avoidance. I just feel like there's some type of avoidance here, but let, let's see what's going on. And again, this could be one full story or it could be separate things. Just take it as it resonates. Come on. All right. Spirit, please give me guidance. I'm making sure I didn't mess these up. Okay. Please give me guidance for Pisces for mid-January. What do they need to know for career and finances, please? What do they need to know? For career and finances, what do they need to know for career and finances, Spirit? What do they need to know for career and finances? Six of Pentacles in reverse. What does Pisces need to know for their highest good? For career and finance, Spirit, please and thank you. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I mean, you have Pentacles all for career and finance. I do feel for some of you, there is a lot about like not equal give and take, but you are definitely focusing on your stability. And this is looking very good. So we'll get to this. Let's go ahead and start. Um, we're going to go ahead and start clarifying, okay? So let's see why. The Seven of Wands is here. Why is the Seven of Wands here for the Pisces? In personal and spiritual growth, please, Spirit. Why is the Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Okay. Oh. We have Two of Cups. And we have seven of cups. Yeah, there's a there's a strong feeling of just being overwhelmed. There could be patterns here. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I can get the full picture. Let me see. Okay. Why is the five of cups here, Spirit? Why is the five of cups here for Pisces? Why is the five of cups here for Pisces? Pisces, please, Spirit, why is the Five of Cups here for Pisces? I feel like a lot of you need to heal here. Don't we all, right? Healing is an ongoing process. Last shuffle after this, Spirit, please and thank you. We have the Eight of swords why is the page of swords here spirit why is the page of swords here why is the page of swords here for pisces please and personal and spiritual growth why is the page of swords here please spirit thank you why is the page of swords here ten of cups all right I feel like there is a lot of confusion surrounding you at this point, Pisces. A lot. There, for some of you, there's been patterns with things. Okay, there's been... Like, kind of just going in the same, like, going through the same maze, but still not finding your way out, if that makes sense. Like, okay, let me try this direction now. Okay, I go this direction, and I'm, like, hitting a roadblock here. So, let me start over, and then I go this way, and then I hit a roadblock, and, 
You know what I mean? Like you haven't found your way out of the maze is what I'm feeling. And it's very overwhelming. It's like, I just feel like you keep getting knocked down. You keep getting knocked down, which is putting you in this eight of swords mental state, right, of confusion, restriction, not knowing what direction to go, how to, how to handle it, right, it's like these things are just restricting you and just feeling paralyzed. You, you need to speak your truth about something here, so let me back up a second. I don't know if y'all have ever listened to that song, Surrender, by, oh, it's Natalie something. Um, give me a second. I think it's Natalie Taylor. Don't shoot the messenger if I'm wrong, okay? And whether you like that song or not, I just want you to listen to it one time. Just, just one time for me. And I want you to listen to the lyrics because it's something like, we let the waters rise, we drifted to survive. I needed you to stay, but I let you drift away. Spirit is saying, you know, some of you, you may pertain this to somebody you love or what have you, but spirit is asking you to surrender whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, because with free will, there's choices you made. And you got to a point in your life where you drifted to survive. As if you didn't have the strength within you to use your legs, your arms. But it's like, I'm trying to articulate this in a way that Sometimes we need to sit in feelings to understand them and feel them in hopes that we learn the lessons, okay? And Spirit's saying, whenever you're ready, can we surrender? It's not about winning, okay? But Spirit wants you back. Spirit wants you to get your strength back, to find your voice, to find the love for yourself here. This is a huge message for a lot of you. And I don't get songs a lot when I read, but when I do, I know they're significant. And some of you may find this song impulsive. But Spirit is bringing this song to my attention, to make you aware. Whether you believe in the divine, God, spirit, all of their arms are open for you. And when you're ready to surrender, they're walking through this with you. All you need to do is ask for their help. Okay? So I'm going to go back up here for a second because I'm being drawn back to the seven of wands. It's like you are being called right now to find, like, it's time to see what you're made of. Now is the time. It is huge. Okay. It is time for you to believe in yourself. It is time for you to have faith. Because, yes, you are being tested. But are you ready to surrender? Because once you do, things will start turning around. Some of you are in the process of this. 
okay? You are turning your weaknesses into strength. You're learning how to do that, okay? You're learning to put that cup of love in yourself. And if you don't, then Spirit's telling you you need to. 1515 on the recorder. Look up that angel number. It is now time to find balance. Okay, it is time to find balance and align. Again, it's time to examine all these things, all these cups surrounding you. People, places, things, thoughts, clutter, whatever it is. It's time to examine everything. And it is time to find balance because this is, this is you going through your test. Yes, it's painful. It hurts. Spirit's saying, feel it. It's okay to feel it. But I don't want you standing here too long. I need you to surrender, to turn around, to give you these two cups. And there's two cups here. And you have technically the ace of cups here. Spirit is trying to get your attention here. Okay? So, you need to stop having these limiting beliefs here. That you can't. I'm not good enough. You are. Because right now you're the only one that doesn't see it. You need to speak your truth. Okay? Whether it be to family, friends. 1717. Look up that angel number. So... You need to release and surrender the fear, the control of knowing the outcome. I feel like some of you have held your truth back for so long. Okay. It's not about anything personal here. From a perspective of you need to speak your truth and it doesn't matter who it affects. It is time to step into your power and it is time to find your voice. Spirit is saying. And this is part of the test. And I'm not saying you need to be cutthroat with somebody because I don't, I don't ever encourage that. Okay. But, you know, it's, the, it, you, it's about not coming from a place of emotion, but logical, right? Because when we can come from a place of where we're in our emotions and we're hurt and we're in pain, we can say things that we don't mean. I mean, maybe we can say very hurtful things and we do mean it, but that's not, we don't want to be like the people who have hurt us. Right? Some of you are like, yeah, right. <laughs> I get it. But at the end of the day, two wrongs don't make a right. So, don't make any assumptions here. Okay? But there's a truth that needs to be spoken to people. Some of it could be family members. Some of it could be co-workers. It could be you take it as it resonates with your story. Okay? So, let's go ahead and clarify with the love. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Four. Why 
why is the four of cups here why is the four of cups here for pisces why is the four of cups here for pisces please spirit in love why is the four of cups here for pisces in love spirit why is the four of cups here spirit for pisces in love Why is the four? Okay. We have the eight of pentacles. Why is the empress here, spirit, for Pisces in love? Why is the empress here for Pisces in love? Why is the empress here for Pisces in love? Oh, too many. Why is the Empress here, Spirit, for Pisces in love? Last shuffle. Why is the Empress here? Okay. Now I'm seeing. King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here in reverse? Why is the King of Cups here in reverse? That's a lot of cards. Yes, so it's time. Okay, this is very clear to me. Very clear to me. This person has put you in a place of confusion. You've put a lot of work and effort into this. Now, please remember that this can be one storyline or it can be each individual things or things tied together. Because this could be just work. This could be love. Just please take it as it resonates and don't force it to fit. But what I feel like you have put a lot of time and effort into something here. And it's like you're waiting for some epiphany to happen here. But you're not seeing it here. And there's a reason why you're not seeing it here. Spirit's saying because it's not meant for you. And I know that is hard to hear. Because you can't expect in a relationship, situationship, friendship, whatever it is. To be putting in all the work, time, effort. Possibly even money financially into something and not get anything back. And this person has the audacity to come in here and come in and out and act jealous and possessive and controlling. Um, I don't think so. Because when you, eight of pentacles with this is giving me the strong feeling that you've put in the work, but this other person hasn't. And for a lot of you, because I can hear it, this person promises you shit and does not deliver. So guess what? It's time to move. Some of you are going between two people and it's the same situation and you're questioning yourselves, why do I keep attracting the same type of people? Because that's the energy you're in. You're in an energy of lack. You're in an energy of self-doubt, self-worth. Mm -mm, no more. It's time to surrender. I just feel like this person, there's in and out energy. One minute they're fine. The next minute they're not. They're controlling. Feel like they have to be in the know. There's certainly a lot of emotional imbalance here. Not nurturing at all. 
Spirit saying it's time with the Eight of Cups. It's time to surrender and leave all these cups. Hurt, pain, tears, blood, sweat, tears. However, it's time to leave it behind. Because although with this moon here, you can't see what's in store over these mountains for you. It's a lot better than what you're in now. And you're going to be surprised. Because we want you in balance with what you deserve. It's time for you to be treated the way you deserve to be. It is time for you to have the equal give and take that is not being given here. It is time for you to move forward. Because again, there's an illusion here that there's no water there, but there truly is. You just can't see it from where you're standing right now. Whew. Yeah, this person is not... I am not liking this energy. It's like... Even this horse is completely stressed out from this individual, from the demands. It's like push, 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 push. It's like nag, 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 and about to explode. It's time for you to speak your truth. Spirit, why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse for career and finance? Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit? Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces, please? And thank you. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces, please? Okay, Three of Cups. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. What? Okay. Heck yeah. Pisces. What? Six of Pentacles in reverse tells me that it's like there's really nowhere to go. Feeling like, okay. Like, this is it. Like, some of you may just be using credit cards right now to live off of. Okay, you could be on a fixed income. And there's no one around you to help you. Now, some of you could be overspending. And, and when I say reckless, okay, let me... Like, going out, partying, eating out... Or spending money on things that you really don't need to. And Spirit's saying, okay, like, try to get this to in perspective here, okay? Now, something's coming in for you. But I'm telling you, there has to be surrendering of the negativity around you, okay? So... And I don't know why. Some of you may, when you go out with your friends or something, like you always get stuck with the bill or people from work or I don't know. Take that take that as it resonates or something. Like take it as it resonates to you. But maybe, again, just be cautious, okay? Some of you could be coming into an inheritance, okay? Or property or something of that nature. Some of you are going to be building your own legacy here. A 
like things that you've been working on and working up to. It's going to work out in the end. It's all about seeing the big picture. Some of you can't see that. But this is going to be very harmonious here, stable. You know the sun's the happiest card in the deck. It's like I'm just getting... Like a, at last, like a deep breath out, like at last. So it's like your, your work is going to shine. Your work is going to shine in a very big, big way, resulting in so much abundance you can't you can't even see it right now. Wow. So I'm sorry, they're still doing fireworks from New Year's, which was clearly 16 days ago. But anyway, I just heard six, financial success in your destiny is what I just heard. This is beautiful. Okay. So, King of Pentacles and the Magician. The King of Pentacles is someone who is stable, secure. He accumulates wealth. And that is what I'm getting with this. Like, you see how all these pentacles are built up in this chest? It's like you're going to accumulate for some of you i mean again some of you could be coming into an inheritance but it's like it's going to accumulate and you're going to be protective of this whatever it is Pentacles speak of manifestation. Something tangible is, is in the process here. It's like there's a move here, like things are coming are going to start happening. And it's for the best. Whether you're afraid or not, I mean, these are beautiful cards to get in career and finances. There's going to be a great sense of achievement here. Like I just heard, you're a master of your craft here. 
Because, see, the magician has all the resources he needs, male or female. He has the wand, the swords, the pentacle, and the cup. And this is long term. For some of you, it's like you could be in sales, you could be in communication, you could, let me say this too, right? Because it could be, it could be nursing, it could be, but understand too, I'm getting a sense that, okay, the magician works for himself. The magician doesn't have people he works with. Okay, it's like he has his own tour ter territory he does for himself. He does his own thing. He supervises himself. Now, I will tell you, though, there could be someone to help you or... give you some guidance here from a king of pentacles but regardless this is successful here okay so some of you may be doing your own thing okay But this can, this can vary from what type of job this is. I mean, you have communications, you have sales, you have online stuff here. Computers, internet. I mean, there's, there's, a lot of things when you speak of pentacles and then with the page of swords i mean i'm just looking overall but this is beautiful pisces so whenever you're ready are you ready to surrender let's see what your advice is <laughs> ace of cups The Fool, come on. Seven of Pentacles. You're walking into new territory. To a new beginning. Yeah. Some of you may be traveling or it may require you to travel. You have patience, look, patience, balance, moderation, you have the world. You have the Queen of Cups. Put these, let's see. I need a bigger table here, clearly. You're going to get in balance. You're going to weigh the pros and cons of things. Look, you have the eight of cups three times already. One, two, three. It's time for balance. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for your cup to overflow. <laughs> and guess what? 
Spirit's saying dream big, baby, because it's coming. This has shifted from feeling overwhelmed to dream big. You have the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Leaving this behind. The Fool, a new beginning. The Chariot, Three of Wands again. Death, transformation. I, I can't make this up. The Fool is all about freedom. Feeling free. A new adventure. Taking a risk. Taking that leap of faith. Getting in balance. Seeing those ships come in. <clears throat> I said in the beginning... There was an illusion here because you got the three of wands three times too. Where is it? I know I saw it. Because I said there was an illusion like you can't see it, but your ships are coming in. I can't make that up because in these cards, it is coming in. Now it's going to drive me crazy. I know it's in here somewhere. I just saw the Six of Wands. I know I'm not losing my mind. Maybe close, but not yet. <laughs> oh, I know it was in here somewhere. Look at the Major Arcanas here. Once you surrender, Once you surrender, are you ready? Because this all ties into that reading that I did that was posted on Christmas Day for January, February, March. This is, it's coming in. I can't make it up. It is time to take action and move. It is time to heal from whatever past hurts. Whether it's people, places, things. Things that have put you in a, pos in a position and down to where you feel like you can't act on other things. Because, you know, your love life, for example, can affect your work life, your friendships. It's time to heal. You have the Hierophant here. Going within trusting. You are a survivor. You are a fighter. There's no giving up. You don't give up. Eight of Pentacles. Pisces. Whenever you're ready. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I truly do. Thank you guys for all of your support, love, comments. Have a beautiful day. I absolutely love this reading for you. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you soon. Bye.